Hello, welcome to Creo Parametric 3.0. Today we are going through the Sketcher module of Creo Parametric 3.0. Hello, it's today we are going to learn how to create the dimensions to in Creo Parametric. See, first I will draw a rectangle, then I will draw a line. It's cross cross or a line la uh, cross line and I will draw on horizontal and a vertical line also okay now if I want to provide a horizontal dimension I will select the normal tool and click over here it will provide me the horizontal dimension now I want to define the distance between these two points as a vertical so it if I click over this side it will provide me the vertical dimension if I click over here it will provide me the length and if I click over here it will provide me the horizontal distance between two points okay so this is how the normal tool behaves we need a circle too so if I want to provide the dimension of this circle I can provide the dimension if I want to select and right click and convert it to diameter I can create it as a diameter and if I want to convert it into linear I can convert it into linear that's a linear distance of linear diameter of a circle now if I want to provide an angle I will select these two lines and provide an angle if I want an angle between these three points I can provide an angle between these three points see you can provide you can provide the dimension by selecting the vertices and by selecting the lines okay and one more thing if you create the conflict between two dimensions it will show you the sketch resolve manager or sketch resolve manager will be pop up to you directly so you can change and resolve the sketch removing the unnecessary dimension thus capturing your design intent okay one more thing is there you can provide a parameter dimension select a close object and okay and select a variable dimension now provide the periphery of the dimension to 1000 the variable dimension will be changed driven by the only periphery now let's go for another tool in dimension I will have to delete these things find the references and now baseline dimension select this line as a baseline and define it as a baseline select this point as a baseline and define it it will ask you do you want vertical baseline or horizontal baseline I will select horizontal and accept it so it will create a horizontal baseline like this one but I don't want this horizontal baseline so I will create one vertical by selecting this vertical line okay now providing the dimensions from this ordinate point or from this point select this and this provide the distance between these two 355 select this and this line you will provide the distance between 0 to this line okay 
select this line and this line so you can provide some ordinate dimensions to your drawing this ordinate dimension system method is mostly used by Germanis and other Germanis drawing as I have seen some of them okay now you will face one problem over here that the dimension over here and provided the distance between these two now if I want to know how long this line is and I will click a normal tool and provide the dimension and it will say what should be we kept this or this okay if I want to keep this then keep it or I want to keep this then keep it but I want the ordinate dimensions and I also want to know the length of this line then I can go for reference dimension select the reference dimension and provide it as a reference now I want this as a 690 and this is 150 so we I will find the reference dimension the length of this line will be 60 there is one more thing about reference dimension you cannot modify your reference dimension and it's not allowed in Creo parametric okay so this is how dimension 2 tab is completed thank you for watching After creating dimension, we will learn how to capture our design intent in parametric software or what should be of workflow to work with parametric software. First we have to sketch the drawing, then go for some editing if we need. We have provided some editing. Now we will edit some dimensions, whatever we require or I want this 115 115 15 ok and one more thing go for modify and select this this and this now I know that this dimensions will be revised this dimension this all dimensions what if this all dimensions will be revised after the cap after we know that we after doing this uh, after doing the job okay after modeling after complete modeling of this object okay so I will keep it as a 350 as I instructed then there is relation between SD1 and SD0 that it should be half of SD1 so I will provide that SD1 divide by 2 to want to add this relation yes so this will be half of SD1 and this should be divide by SD0 divide by 2 yes now this should be my workflow okay after providing the relations I will go for ok and the object my object is complete now if someone revise the drawing and tell me that this should be not 350 should be 1000 then I will just have to select the edit select the dimension 1000 and all the related dimension will be changed according uh, to our design intent right so this is how we can work with creo parametric thank you